Hey everybody, it's the d rock Hundred, and welcome back to more Pokemon White Two. Last time, we began the aftermath of the game, and unfortunately, I lost to Hugh, which was my very first official loss of the game. But it doesn't matter at this point. We also began to come in down here at around 14. This time, we're gonna be finishing up what we can do at around 14. Okay, so before we go any further, I did look back at this, and there was indeed a Pokemon that I actually missed from the past. Oh, because it never came down yet, but oh well. Um, that one Pokemon that we can find out here is Swablu. Swablu! I think I already had talked about this when I talked about Altaria. It starts off as a normal flying type, but once it evolves, it becomes a dragon flying type. So, if you haven't gotten a really good flying type from before, now may have been a good time to get one. Um, the only downside that I can say to it really is, it, once it evolves, it gains a major weakness to ice. So, it's not a bad Pokemon. But, it does have come with some pretty devastating weaknesses, so... Okay. So now that we've gotten that taken care of... There's some sp there's some specific parts out here that... I actually want to show off, and I think I'm going in the right direction... No, I am not. There was a place that, that I did do a little bit of off-screen training off, but not much, though. Because I didn't want to go too far, because I already kind of screwed myself into showing off something pretty important. So when you battle against Hugh back in on Delatown, Zinzolin, uh, when not Zinzolin, um, what's his name from the friendly Team Plasma, he will give you a little bit of information about the uh, Undela Ruins and from when you use Dive at. In other words, you now know can get through the Relic Castle from underneath, but I don't think I'm going to be showing off that because... And all honestly, I probably took care of that in my black LP. But, oh well. But anyway, coming out here though, to the Abundant Shrine, we got ourselves four new Pokemon that we can find. Two of them is Bronzor, and it's Evolve Form Bronzon. These are some very interesting his second his steel types. But hey, I used another one myself in my Diamond LP, and it has served me well. So if you're looking for a very, very good. Uh, Steel type Pokemon, this could be a good one. The only downside is you can only access in this part of the game after the main story mode, but hey. But no, well, to wish the room. Next up is Vulpix and its evolved form Ninetales. This is a Pokemon that I thought got screwed pretty badly by the time the the uh, special split happened in the um, from the original red and blue to gold and silver. Um, they used to be banned. Fantastic Pokemon from back then, but now they're most meant to be good special walls. If my memory is serving me right, yeah, special walls. Um, they're not bad fire types. In fact, Bullpix and Ninetales got an awesome uh, new look here in the Alolan Hood forms in um, Sun and Moon. But hey, they're not bad. But unfortunately, here they suck. Okay. So we're seeing some new Pokemon out here that we haven't seen yet. So what I am going to show off is, I'm pretty much going to show off the rest of the Abundant Shine. And someone suggested that I extend my videos a little bit more throughout this particular part of the game. So, I kind of want to go with that, but unfortunately I might have to disagree with that one because I already have a lot of stuff to have to cover and that would take too much time to edit. And, yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong, you have a really good idea, so... Thank you, person who gave me that idea, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say, good idea, but now is probably not the best time. Maybe I might regret that in the future, but who knows. Ryan Ula, huh? Yeah, these are... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of trainers out here that are pretty required, but oddly enough, you only get waterfall pretty late in the game, especially in the main story, so I don't know why they did this, but the trainers around here are very low level, like in the high 30s. But you know what, I've learned to not question logic at this point, because I'm already in the after game, this is a side quest, shut your face. God, I've been saying that a lot these days. Okay, that just takes me back. Um, that's better not required. We get a max survivor here, which is a very nice item. Okay. But there is something right up here. 
A big mushroom. Which is nice. Okay. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no. What do we got? TM92 Trick Room. This is a very tricky move. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Trick Room is a move that pretty much just flips the um, attack and the defense stat and special attack and defense stat and their speeds, depending on how well they use it, and pretty much just reverse it. Like, if you have, a, like, a slow keen or something, or even a Palpatoad, it becomes a tool of destruction when used correctly. And we got two Hollow Hunt paths right here. Let's see what's at the end of this one. And wouldn't you know it, it's freaking mulch. Never mind, it's a red shard! Oh, that's right, there's a few Hollow paths that are different, depending on where you're at. <laughs> Silly me! PP max, uh, pretty much just, uh, puts the maximum amount of PP use of, uh, item. Or, I guess in this case, move, but, okay, so this point, don't, don't, don't look at me. Here we go. And a rare candy! Good, good, good! Okay, don't look at me. There we go. Now, from over here, I don't think in that we have any good use of for this particular time in the game. But look at this. A small weathered shrine. When you bring the Tornadus and Thunderous here, it summons Landorus. Uh, Landorus is a flying ground type, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, it's not a bad Pokemon, but you know what? I'll go show off the bio really quick on Landorus. So, yeah. It's not a bad uh, Pokemon, but when used correctly, this thing is doing pretty good. Especially in its Theon forms. But I'll cover that on another. But I don't think I'm going to be covering that uh, in this OP because I don't think it's going to be that important. Since... I don't know what's become of Tornadoes and Thunders in my other game, but... Oh well. Actually, hang on! Before I go too far, there is one place that I want to head off to and that it's kind of gotten me thinking about something. But there was also one other thing that I completely forgot to mention. These bulletin signs right here, they talk about outbreaks. Um, outbreaks are pretty much a show for what kind of Pokemon that can be found at uh, specific points. Like I think from out here we can find. I forget what kind of Pokemon we can find out here and that might be part of the shrine, but it doesn't matter at this point. We still got plenty more ahead to explore. So who's ready to fight for their lives? All right. Well, wow. was there any items on you? No, there is not. Just talk about the Pokemon outbreak again, but I don't care about that. Okay, welcome everyone to the White Forest. On the White Forest is actually kind of an interesting place. Why? Two reasons. One, in the original White. You can actually find some Pokemon here, but they're only at level 5, but you can actually find some pretty rare Pokemon. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case for here. At least I don't think it is. Um, and the second reason from out here, you remember in the last episode of where they talked about this thing? Yeah, kill a lot of this place. I'm not going to go into too far into this, but I don't really think it's that important. Uh, I was doing very well. I was so close, but I lost. I shouldn't have forced myself to battle. I should have looked for a nurse. The White Tree Hollow is not known as the universe challenge for nothing. Um, that challenge is kind of an interesting thing. Um, is it really worth it? Not in my case. I have taken on the Black Challenge before in Black 2, and I did beat it. But with some sheer dumb luck. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm not gonna... Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I actually thought that the bridge would be coming up next, but I actually don't want to cross the bridge yet. Because there is something out there that I want to save for a later time. The times of where I'm gonna be going after are legendaries. And it's gonna be... It's gonna be crazy. But anyway, coming here on round 15, we have four new Pokemon that we can find, and this one is quite possibly my favorite route in the game. Now, I don't know if I covered this Pokemon yet, but if I did, oh well. 
least I would know for a fact that I didn't. First up is Sand Slash, the evolved form of Sand Shrew. This is not a bad Pokemon. It, this thing is mostly mentioned to be a physical wall, but unfortunately, it is very, very slow. So, if you're looking for a pretty decent Pokemon that is known to uh, be a good wall, this is not really your guy. Next up is Scrafty. Scrafty is a dark fighting type. Not a bad Pokemon. Um, if you want one, by all means. The only bad thing that I can really say about it is because... While it's really good at taking a lot of good physical hits, it has a sheer number of weaknesses. Especially one to flying, so... If you want one, by all means, it's not a bad Pokemon. That's a jerk move. But anyway! The last two Pokemon is the main reason why I consider this one to be one of my personal favorites in the game. First up is Pupitar, and it's a ball form Tyranitar. These are my favorite rock types. If you want one, especially at this point in the game, by all means, you have no regrets of not going for any of these Pokemon. They are one of my favorite pseudo legendaries, and they know how to get the job done. They're very powerful, base 600. Holy crap! The only bad thing that I can say about Tyranitarm is that it becomes a dark uh, uh, rock type, which means it does uh, gain a, a couple of weaknesses, especially when to fighting. But if you can get by that, great Pokemon. Ow. Okay. Ooh, heat wave. Oh no 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 no! Okay, thank God. Yeah, the aftermath is not fun. Well, actually, you no, know, it is quite fun. It's knowing out of what to do. And Anubis is at level 64, very, very nice. Okay. Really? You're gonna go for a Cubone? Eh, what the heck? I'll play with it. Okay. Okay. Hi-ho! It's you! Going up! And... Kabooski! Oh, now retaliate! Oh yeah, that does more damage if it's used after the Pokemon is fainted. <laughs> okay. When you have too many moves and items, you can actually be a bit overpowered. Uh, duh! Okay, now let me do something real quick. Get a coin, I'm gonna get that back to Lucario. Still want a lucky egg. I'm gonna continue to do some more off-screen training. I'm gonna do them out here because I find it to be a little bit more useful. But I didn't want to go too far in case I might have screwed or something. Screwed myself out of something. I had another repel up. What the heck? Well, then again, I never put another one up at this point, but oh well. Yay, Ultra Ball! Okay. I know there's an item that's calling out to us. Here we go. Okay, now we can move on. Down machine. I know this. It looks like it's coming from over there, so. Sure that that trainer doesn't look at me. Just don't, don't look at me. But this person right here, you're gonna want to talk to her. This is her uh, scientist and Marie right here. Um, I think after this fight, there is actually uh, some use about her that I actually want to talk about. I think I might be wrong with this one. If I am, oh the frick well. But let's see here. Okay, let's see here. So we got some interesting things in the we could do from out here. Like like this building that we're in front of. Find back over here, guys. 
There we go. Really? Why do you have a freaking Garbodor? Alright. Alright. Actually, no, it's actually coming from inside the building, so I'll get into that in just a second. Zone. All right, I'll play with it. Okay. Go for a flamethrower. I don't know why I've never been risking it using eruption because I can always guarantee that they're going to hit Tambora on the first turn. But you know what? I've learned to not question that kind of logic. There's that sturdy. Let's go for a rock slide. But hey, at least that means that it has... It doesn't have levitate for the ability. In fact, I've yet to see one that has magnet rise. That is a very good move. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I need to go back to that one place and tutor my Magnezone to learn and to teach a magnet rise. Because I think that might actually be useful for something later on. Not a problem, ma'am. Okay. Now let's, go. now let's go inside. And wouldn't you know, we are greeted by this person. Hi, hello. You came here. That means you're, you are a visitor? Huh? No? You came all the way here? Ah, you are a trainer. Are you in the middle of your journey? Ah, this is your trainer card. What? You, you have all the gym badges? Great. You may be able to... Professor Park! Quick, quick. Oh, there you are. Professor, do you have a minute? I th think you do. Listen, this this kid is a trainer that has all the gym badges. All of them. I'm sure this trainer can operate it. Huh? I have told you many times, this invention is great indeed, but without a professional trainer... What? You have all the gym badges? All of them? Fantastic! Fantastical! Yeah! Woo! This guy doesn't get out much, does he? <laughs> Proving my point! <laughs> What a great day! Great! Unbelievable! Hello, I am Professor Andrew Park! You... Uh... Zedric. Zedric, are you willing to participate in an ambitious experiment that will make history? This device is called Bulky Transfer. It connects and blah blah blah, called DS System. Meanwhile, blah blah, I'm on liquids and then... Oh, bulky, blah blah, ergo, energy, particle, well, blah blah, and into frequency, and you see... The faraway Pokemon, the Alpha Wave, blah blah, which... which following which... In, which... In convergence, blah blah, spectacular results! Put it more simply, if you're using this device, you can be able to bring Pokemon here from other regions. But just for safety's sake, the Pokemon you're transferring shouldn't be holding anything, so make sure to take their items first. So, you, you are a fantastic Pokemon trainer! Will you participate in a great experience in the century? We need to DS system to use Poke Transfer. Will you get out this? Unfortunately, I cannot do it at the very moment. Okay. But this person! I think this says... Nope, not you. Are you the person? sworn that this person would to, to be here at some point. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no. Okay. At least I'm guaranteed that I'm having to fight this guy. I think. Okay, here we go. Let's come up here. We got an item that we can find from up here. What is it going to be? A max potion. Good, good, good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and quickly use Fly. Why is that, you may ask? Well, good question. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly out to Miss Charlton City, and there is something that I actually want to quickly check. And I know that I'm up to 20 minutes already, but there is something that I want to check along the way.
Alright. Okay, so you may be wondering what is it for us to do coming this way? And it looks like it is a no-go. Chris warned that it was going to be raining heavily out here. Alright, not worried about that trainer, but now we want to head this way. Avoid that trainer because you are not important. Okay, which way are you going, buddy? Which way are you going? Which way are you going? There we go. Alright, come on. Okay. So here at Twist Mountain. Marshall! What are you doing out here? Zedric! Oh, I see! So you travel all around like this and toughen yourself up then? Well, I suppose you have many battles ahead of you. Pokemon battles are Pokemon. As a Pokemon trainer? Battles about how you should live your life. You'll lose sometimes, but I think what matters is that you do things your own way. If you surpass what you've done before, you have bested yourself. Well then, I'll be winning for your challenge at the Pokemon League. Okay, so... I don't think I have anything that'll help me out here with the Twisted Mountain. That I do not. So let me see something over here. Warn her that I had this one ready to go. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go through here. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of what we can do out here as of yet. But where is it? Wait. What mission am I doing? Well, anyway, um. I'll go. I'll cover these little Pokemon at, at a later point because I'm already running a little bit low on time. And this basically is one gigantic maze, and the floatstone. Okay. That's an interesting item. Yeah, let's see here. So let's see what else we could do out here. I know there's not a whole lot we can do, but I know for a fact that there is something pretty nice about this place. That we can only access this place only after the main quest. But you know what? Let me battle this trainer and see if the rumors are true. Yep! I called it! So we're here in the Twist Mountain, so. I'll have to see. But this is also not a bad poison to do some off screen training as well. Depending on where you're at. And why can't I not find this place? What the heck is wrong with me? Ugh. This is what happens when I am not properly prepared! Ugh. Okay. At least we got to see a rare Pokemon, Glaceon, one of my personal favorites. Ooh, we also get to see another one of my personal favorites, Bastiodon! What are the odds of that this thing's going to have Sturdy for the ability? But then again, it may have uh, um, Rockhead for the ability. So let's give it an Earthquake and see what happens. Yep, Sturdy. Okay. Alright. We got Drapion right here. You know what? I'll keep Tambora out. I got next to no prop. Thank you, my good friend. Hindered my progress. Alright. Let's go for an air slash. Ooh, acupressure! That's not good. It raises his evasiveness by a lot. And that, I do not like. Because now I'm gonna be here for a while. And unless if I can get lucky. It. Oh, shit! Stop it! Jeez! Oh, okay, we're just raising. Oh, acupressure! It's for random moves. Alright, what is it this time? Attack rose. Hey, I actually get the hit! Yes! 
do? What? Oh, come on. I thought you were going to do more than that. Oh, boy. This is not going to end well for me. I can almost guarantee that. Special attack real sharply, and how will you hit this thing? Now watch me lose. I refuse to lose. Thank you. Now be enough. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Ugh. And crap, you have one Pokemon left. You know what? Over oh, it. And another one of my personal favorites, holy heck! Alright, Aqua. Yeah, that right period is going down. Okay. So that went longer than I originally anticipated. <laughs> uh. So let's see what else we could do around here. I know that I'm going a little over time, but maybe I might make it into half an hour from now on. Alright, I do not want to bat... What part of I don't want to battle this guy do you not fucking understand? Ooh, we got a newbie. It's a go leg, too. Okay. Dragon Pulse. Ouch! Ow! I felt that. Oh, you're just preparing Focus Punch. Goodbye. All right, who's next? Mammo Swine. You know what? Let's one-shot it. If I one-shot, I'm in close combat. Yeah, Mamos White has a lot of weaknesses. Especially with all the starters. Because of its very, very weird typing of ice and ground. But hey. <laughs> Take that, Wade. Okay. Okay. Very careful of where I go because I don't want to accidentally screw myself. Item right, right here. What do we got? A yellow shard. Good, good, good. All right, what are you gonna do, Shadow? What are you gonna do? Okay, go, go, go. Okay, wait, 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 go. Oh, aren't you a cyphersaurite? Fortunately, Carol has only one Pokemon. Blissey! Here's what I think of your Blissey. Goodbye! Oh! Oh shit! Okay. There we go. There we go! I forgot that Blissey was more of a special wall rather than a physical wall. 10,000! Holy crap! i never seen anything like this before! I can only imagine what that would have been like with a lucky egg. Ugh. Okay. Okay! And a full restore! Good timing! Okay! So now that I'm all done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end things off right here. I'm gonna do some off-screen training out here at Twist Mountain. And then afterwards, I'll talk about the Pokemon that we can find out here. So, next time! We're gonna be continuing our way here throughout here, reach the next city, and see what else what we can do out there, alright? See you guys then! <laughs>